do you do you think Donna would would testify in her trial? I mean, Charlie did. You think Donna would? Just what's your? I opinion? think she has to because she has to explain away some of these statements. Um, yeah, I mean, some of the. Uh, I think it involves both of us. You probably that know. You better. probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah what do you mean by that, better. Donna? What is it? Is there a health okay? Yeah. Right. Does it involve me or other people? Well, probably both of them. What's that? Probably the two of them. So, you probably have a general idea of what I'm talking about. Right. So, let's, let's just find some time to talk to each other and get the boys for a while. Okay? Where you're being very cryptic in your conversations, and I'll, you know, I'll tell you, my mom is the exact same age as Donna. There is no cryptic with her. You would need to spell it out. And, and she'll say anything over the phone. So I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I have to, I feel like you need to be able to explain that. You need to be able to say, uh, why did you call Charlie immediately? Uh, when somebody came up and tried to extort you, why not call your husband? Why not call the, call the police? Yeah. I'm just, I think about my mom. She's about her age. And I'm like, if this guy, which by the way, I've talked about this before. I, well, although I think I, he's been, he was told to kind of, lay off be, nice. be yeah. nice to her but like if they didn't want her to drop dead in the middle of it right exactly so he was like a used car salesman latin king uh, i just want to give you this um listen <laughs> don't, don't be scared listen i just want to let you know that uh we know that your family uh has been taking care of katie and her friend Luto for quite some time after your problem up north has been resolved and i want to let you know that my brother he's incarcerated he helped your family with this problem you guys had up north. And we want to make sure that he's going through some rough times. We want to make sure that you take care of, the, of what he's going through, the way you're taking care of Katie and uh, Tuza. Well, this will explain it. Thank you. Like, I just think of my mom and my I, my mom, if she had nothing to do, well, obviously she would have nothing, but she would be like calling the police. This guy came up to me and it's about my ex-son-in-law who got murdered. Like, she just keeps walking, puts it in her little purse and then calls Charlie. And like you said, doesn't call Harvey, doesn't call the police. How is she going to explain that away? she's going to have to. Um, and, and the other thing is, it, having lived down there, there's also this concept known as condo commandos. She, of course, was living in a condo at the time. They love to call the cops. Oh, interesting. They love it. Yeah, whenever you see a battery on a person over 65 down there, you're like, not a condo, not a condo. Because it usually there's, there's some kind of like, you know, deep seated uh, anyway, but. Um, yeah, I'd like to report that someone is illegally using a charcoal grill in a non-designated area on, um, in Lake Merritt Park, kind of near Cleveland Cascade. I'd like it to dealt with immediately so that coals don't burn more children and our city has to pay more taxes. It's it, people, people that are, you know, privileged feel like you get to call the cops and have them be your personal police force. And, you know, you get to swear out affidavits and go to court and people that are retired love going to court. Um, so, I mean, that's some of the stuff that you deal with as a prosecutor down there, right. but it's, 
I, I just don't see her not calling the cops and calling her son first. And, and that's, she's going to have to explain that. She's going to have to explain the, well, I think it involves both of us. Why would Phone calls involved? and yeah. the, this EV is going to cost 5K. What is the tiny task what do they ask for? Um, you know, I don't know. This TV is probably, TV is probably about five. They asked you for $5,000? Mm hmm That's fucking crazy. Mm hmm Yeah, I... And then she, um, you know, like, an ex-girlfriend. We started like going back and saying, uh, like Googling cost of television in 2016, like trying to figure out like how, it, you know, what kind of massive television this would be. So here we have also included um, the information from Wendy Adelson's forensic extraction or her Cellbrite report. So we're able to see other things that were uh, contained in her phone. And one of the first things we see is that she had a calendar entry um, for that day for listed as fixed TV. Um, now we see that it's deleted. Yes. When would that have been deleted? Uh, sometime prior to our analysis of the handset. And your analysis of the handset was done that same day? <coughs> it was done, yes, the afternoon of the 18th. Okay. So this calendar event, fixed TV, was deleted at some point before her phone was taken by law enforcement and, and looked at that afternoon? That's correct. Go ahead. Then we see that there is an outbound call from Wendy Adelson to Donna Adelson. And that's starting at 8.09 in the morning? That's correct. Okay. An immediate return attempt. And then a text message. Again, this is from uh, Wendy Adelson's uh, handset itself, but there is a return text message or a text message from Donna Adelson to Wendy um, communicating about Best Buy and coming by for the repair of the TVs. Okay, she says, Best Buy just called me and I told them to confirm with you. They are on their way over now to help you with the TV set in your living room. Yes. 